Very, very good sounding pedal. I'm, I'm stoked to talk about this. So welcome. Welcome back to the Demo Lab. I am Will Mason, your host, and I am joined today by a very special guest, Drew Swindle from Swindler Effects mm -hmm. uh, from right here in Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, yeah. You traveled all the way to your hometown really from bad. your hometown. Commute was terrible. Well, if you were on 280 yesterday, it was really bad. Um, so, man, we're glad to have you in the in the demo lab in the barn. Yeah, glad thanks, to be here. Thanks for joining us uh, to talk about a an update to a pedal that you have in your lineup, which is the Red Mountain. Yeah, this is one of my favorite Swindler pedals. I've been hankering for one for quite a while now, and uh, it's getting an update. So I'm I'm glad to be testing out the prototype. Yes, the the only the one prototype. Yeah, singular. Yes. We're bringing this to you exclusive. Exclusive. Yes. Inside scoop. The inside scoop. So, uh, Drew, tell me just to start with, like, how did you get started making pedals? Like, how does one decide, I'm just going to make a pedal? Yeah. So the way uh, the way I explain it is it, it was a perfect way to mesh my, my passion and my education. Mm -hmm. So my passion for music, playing guitar since I was about 12, and then my education, electrical engineering degree. Um, so I was, I was in bands growing up. I had a couple guys who wanted some simple utility pedals. I was like, I should be able to figure that out with mm. what I know. See, I never so had I that thought. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I was just like, I was kind of learning about this stuff yeah. a little bit loosely in school, and I was like, I should probably know how to do that. So, yeah. Made a tap tempo, A B switch, simple booster, and then the black hole just. Oh my up, goodness! And you just get sucked in. Yep. And then you did custom shop stuff for a couple of years. That was a really long, good learning process, but very difficult. Um, so I wanted something that we could put our name on and yeah. uh, started releasing kind of our own line of products at 2015, I think. Really? Okay. So, yeah. That is cool, Fall man. 2015. Well, you so. should be very proud. Uh, they're great pedals. Um, yeah. What all currently is in the lineup these days? Uh, so we've got Overdrive, uh -huh. uh, Overdrive Compressor, Reverb Delay, Tremolo, Chorus, and then a programmable loop switcher. Right. Is that the Nexus? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the Golf is the, is the, the Chorus. chorus yeah, that's which been... Is the same control scheme as this yes. yeah that's been selling really, really well for us lately uh and this one we can't keep them in stock because people just every time we get one in i know that's yeah. out the door it's out the door trying, it's, to, trying to fix that no but i mean that means there's demand so yeah it's you're great. doing something right the customers uh, are really happy with these when they put them on their board and hear what they sound like in their rig so thanks yeah keep up the good work um so Tremolo. Tremolo is a, is a uh, effect that I personally love. Um, I had just one of those Boss Tremolo pedals on my board because as much as I love it, I can't give up this much space for a tap tempo Tremolo pedal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something that I wanted. I wanted a tap tempo because I like having it to be able to kind of sync up or at least control the parameter by tapping it out. Mm -hmm. um, so this has really caught my eye because of that, because at the time this was released, I don't, I don't know that there was anything else that was this size with all the features in it. Uh, very rare. Yeah. yeah, not all the features. Yeah, there were some that were semi close, but for the most part, tap tempo and mm -hmm. that size, yeah, it was pretty much didn't exist. Yeah. Um, especially stereo. I mean, the big right. thing about about this pedal in particular is the stereo nature in this size enclosure. Sure. It's just and at the price of. point. Yeah. I mean, if you find one, it's gonna be super it's expensive. Up there. Yeah. 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 So uh, walk us through the features and tell us what's kind of new about the uh, the new version. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we'll play some and let you hear what it sounds like at home and you can decide for yourself. Yeah. So quick rundown would be top three knobs are your standard tremolo, speed, depth, and level. Those are on any tremolo in existence pretty much. And then you get more unique when you get down to the lower set. So you've got tempo subdivisions that allow you to subdivide what the tempo is that you tapped in. So you can tap in quarter notes, and mm -hmm. it can subdivide to eighth notes, dotted eighth, triplet, sixteenth notes, and, and then quarter notes. Um, 
So then over here, you've got your waveform selection, and most tremolos will have, you know, maybe a sine wave, triangle wave, maybe a square wave. We've got those on the first three, and then we've actually got a ramp up, which will slope up and then chop down. Okay. And then a ramp down, which will jump up and then slope down. Right. And then a stutter mode, which acts like a Morse code kill switch type thing. So okay. you can strum a nasty big chord with a lot of reverb and delay yeah. and have it just lingering, but you it'll be off until you hit the tap switch. And you bring it in um, by kind of pulsing it on. Yeah, you, it's, it's a kill switch. It's a, sure. I, I pictured as Morse code because while you're tapping it, da 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 da. Oh, da, that's da, cool, da, man. So, so would you put this in front of your reverb then and have the tails of the reverb, um, or would you be cutting the tails off? You would. You would be cutting your signal to the reverb. Right. You probably want to put it after if you wanted to do that, so okay. you can have all the swelling and the noise feeding into it, right. and then just cutting it or letting it through. Yeah. Um, so you have a lot of with lot anything. Of stuff to work with. Try it both ways. Yeah. It's, figure it's, out what works. It just for you. depends on what you want to do. Yeah. Um, so then you got your tap tempo switch and your bypass switch. They do those standard functions, and the tap switch tap switch also acts as a ramp function. Mm -hmm. So when you hold it, the first time you hold it, it'll slow the speed down. Okay. Let it up, it'll stay. Second time you press it, it'll speed up, mm. and then if you let it up, it'll stay at that speed. It kind of emulates a Leslie speaker speeding up and slowing down. This yeah. kind of uh, speed change there, but um, super cool. I, I love yeah. that. Like on my old tremolo, I just had like one of those option knobs, you know, mm -hmm. and with my foot, I would kind of manually do that. Manually like, ramp it up and slow it down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. so you can do that by holding it down. Cool. I um, mean, you can actually change how fast it speeds up and slows down by me messing with this knob oh, while no you're way. holding the switch. Very cool. So it's just a way to kind of tweak it farther if it's not quite to your taste. And that's one of the things that's really cool about this pedal is how much you can kind of customize or you can set it to your own likings with the presets, which I'm sure you're going to explain. Mm -hmm. But then also being able to set that parameter yourself. It's like, you know, getting it exactly to your liking and yep, your taste. Yep. So like you alluded to, there's an onboard preset. So mm -hmm. if you hold this switch, you can access your preset. And if you hold both switches, it'll save your preset. And a great update to this pedal mm -hmm. that wasn't in the other one is the fact that every control, every knob, every switch is saved in in memory. Okay. It's saved in the computer chip. So that wasn't the case before because of some analog constraints and controls. Sure. Um, but now the level knob, the switch... Everything is saved in memory. So your preset is a full-fledged full preset. preset. So does it override, like, you know, whatever the, wherever the knobs are, and then if you touch a knob, does it jump it to that position? Yes, okay, it cool. will. So when you access your preset, it'll totally bring up your preset. Mm -hmm. And then if you twiddle with a knob from there, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll go override to where to you that. made the note. Cool. The, where, and then you'll have to resave it if you like that better. Right. right. Um, that is cool. So yeah, and the, the other big thing mm -hmm. with the update is this switch. The old switch was two-way, and now we've got another way. What? Another way to tremolo. Okay. So the middle is your standard tremolo. It's okay. A, now it's a stereo tremolo, mind you. So both amps are going together. They're, they're modulating together. Volume gotcha. is going up together. The left is your out-of-phase ping-pong effect. Okay. So your amps are totally opposite. Right. So if you have headphones on or whatever, it's just... Mm -hmm. hitting each ear separately yeah. and uh it gives this really crazy ping pong effect mm -hmm. and the right which is new uh -huh. is a harmonic mode okay tell so us about that harmonic mode is something is kind of a, another big area of tremolos that we uh -huh. hadn't touched on and i, I wanted to if we were going to kind of cover everything sure so harmonic mode modulates the high frequencies and the low frequencies separate okay so it's you hear high frequencies first, and then you hear low frequencies, and they kind of they kind of rotate in and out of each other. So it okay. gives this weird swirling effect, this sure. kind of chorusy vibrato effect. Um, but all it's doing is changing which frequency band you hear at a time. Okay. But that crossover gives this weird. Oh man! And that's what we heard during the intro of the, the video. Intro. I was playing on that. Setting. Yes, and that's that's probably my my new favorite setting. Really? Uh, because of the harmonic and the and the square wave, the square wave on that with the depth kind of up. It's yeah. just It's choppy, but it's also swirly and yeah, vibey. It's it's. That I love really it. Cool. So, so is that your preset on yours? That. Well, on this one, right? It this is. is yours because <laughs> this is the only one that exists. Yeah, so right. I, it might be the preset. I don't remember where I left it. But right, That's I was fun, tinkering man. with it. But. Yeah, that is really cool. But yeah, so and it's still stereo in and out. Okay. Uh, external tap, external favorite, mm -hmm. or external expression slash favorite. Okay. Um, and the other big update 
that we'll tease here. Mm -hmm. um, this expression jack, TRS cable, also has a upcoming new function. And uh, we'll just say um, it starts with M and uh, it makes me giddy. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying. Okay. So I'm it's coming. Um, <laughs> That's crazy. So what will we be able to do with that? Uh, you'll be able to control any of the parameters, any of the knobs externally okay. with the uh, M Giddy controller. Uh -huh. An M Giddy, yes. Um, That's a new format, right? There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, and access additional presets. Okay. So you have one onboard preset, right. and we will be expanding that to additional presets. Oh, that's um, really cool. Because, I mean, for my purposes, it'd be nice to have, you know, if I'm playing a whole show and, and it's an hour and a half set, be able to have three or four or five, whatever, however many, I don't know how many you're doing. Yeah. But to be able to have those presets instead of bending down and switching up the knobs, letting these be more for practice. Yeah, And exactly. then save your settings, and then when you're playing live have your presets that you can go to. Mm -hmm. Or if you're in the studio, for that matter, and you're working with an artist and you come up with a really cool sound, you need to be able to save a couple of them. Yeah. And they leave and they come back for next session. Like, oh yeah, we used preset two. Exactly. Okay. okay. So that's it. coming. It yeah. may not be fully ready by mm -hmm. the time we release the new hardware version. The hardware's sure. all there. There's a USB port okay. on the inside that okay. is intended for customer updates, customer firmware updates. Interesting. So hopefully this pedal is not future proof, but pretty much future proof. Right. All the hardware is going to be the same. It's going to be the same. So the program can be updated with any feature tweaks and additions we, uh, we come up with. Are there going to be any Easter eggs in there? Like the Tesla, you know, has got some secret things. Uh, not as of right now, no. but maybe. Okay. But it'd yeah, be fun so to drop we, something in. Yeah. If we release anything, any update in the future, mm -hmm. any customer with a, a micro USB cable can follow some simple instructions. And yeah. And those are hard to find. Micro USB cables. They're super rare. Right. New old stock is what you need to look for. You gotta for look for that. Them. Yeah. Like the Russian ones. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, no collusion here. But we're gonna get into playing through some of the sounds mm -hmm. uh, so we can demo and so you can hear what this sounds like. And we're actually running two amps right now. We've got a stereo rig set up. So we're using my SAM amp, which is actually made here in Birmingham. Shout out to Sam Timberlake. And then we're also using our good friend Park Butterworth's uh, Fender Deluxe. So uh, we've got these two amps and we're just micing them up and we're running them into Pro Tools and we're panning them hard left and right so you can enjoy the lush landscape mm -hmm. of the stereo field. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Let me fire these up and we'll play through some stuff and you can just walk through some of the different uh, waveforms and subdivisions and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. We'll mess with it. Mess with it. I like it. That is gnarly. So is that the speed all the way up? That's all the way up. That's okay. as fast as she goes. Is that on a square? Square wave. Okay. All the way up. Helicoptery. Yes. Ring moddy. Very cool. Close to that sound. But. Yeah.
Okay, so we're just switching over to the ping pong mode. There so now is. you gotta have headphones on to appreciate this. But yeah. Here we go. Yeah, and even in the room here, that sounds just so much more massive and spacious and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, cool. Now we're gonna go over to the harmonic, harmonic mode. mode. Yeah, cool. All right, let's check that out. Dude, that is really cool. It's got that mm. wash to it. It's got on this, this weird warble. Yeah. To it, but. Yeah. Really dig this pedal. I'm yeah. going to have to get one for my board for sure. For yeah. sure. We'll hook you up. Um, well, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us uh, for this episode. Uh, we're putting out new content all the time. So if you're a fan of the Demo Lab, make sure that you subscribe so that you can get the new content fresh in your inbox. Um, and also like this video and post some comments down below so we know what you think. Um, Drew will be checking them and responding mm -hmm. to the minute. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I do actually yeah. respond to most of the comments, so uh, definitely let us know. We love to interact with our audience um, and hear from you what you want us to demo next and any questions you have for us about the pedal. Uh, we'll be carrying these at Mason Music, so if you want more information on how to order one, you can go to masonmusicrocks.com and click on our shop link there, uh, or stop by if you're in the Birmingham area. Bring your guitar or borrow one of ours, plug in, and check it out for yourself. Really, really cool stuff from Drew Swindle and Swindler thanks. Effects Pedals. So uh, thanks again for joining us, and until next time, rock on. Thank you.